Hi pal, I've decided to do another video for your birthday this year, but something a little bit different. I'm going to do something that's uh, known amongst radio control experts as an unboxing video. Now you probably don't know what an unboxing video actually is, but uh, what it comprises is actually a box being opened. So the subject of this unboxing video is going to be this radio controlled helicopter. The Align T-Rex 500X. And in case you're wondering what the X stands for, it stands for Expert. Now some unboxing videos you see uh, go on for a long time. Um, the presenters just seem to pad it out. Uh, not talking about anything in particular. Uh, what you really want is them to get on with the unboxing, but they just seem to be talking and talking in the preamble. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get right on um, and get into this box and see what we've got inside. So here we go. Oh, wow. Just look at that. Just look at the detail on all those parts. That is amazing. So this is what you see when you open the box. And there's one thing that you'll notice straight away and that is the quality of the parts in this kit. So let's just go through and see what we've got. I think this is uh, what we have to make the canopy out of. You see that this model comes with its own transmitter, so it is a ready to fly version. Now these look like the rotors. And I think we'll have to sand those to shape. Now this is almost certainly the rotor head mechanism. That looks pretty good. What have we got in here? This looks like the battery and charger that the kit comes with. That must be one of the skids. And the rest of it is just miscellaneous hardware that we'll be using to construct the boom and the, the frame of the model and I would imagine that that's for the base. So here are all the parts laid out on the table. And boy, can I not wait to start putting this baby together. Well, here's the helicopter after we've assembled it. And I think you'll agree it's turned out pretty nice. Um, beautiful little helicopter. Went together really well from the components. Uh, good quality. Uh, now I'd like to just spend uh, a little bit of time showing you how to set this up. Now, if you want one of these to actually fly, it's absolutely crucial that you get the setup correct. And I have to say, this is not something for beginners. Um, what I would suggest is, is watch this video very, very carefully if you're going to have any hope of being able to control one of these when it's in the air. So what we have to do is make sure that these rotor blades are absolutely level. And to do that, we're going to use a spirit level. Uh, the sort of thing that you can get from a hardware store. 
we're going to place that on there. And as long as it's perfectly level, everything should be okay. So that completes the setup, and this helicopter is now ready to fly. And tomorrow, I'm gonna to be giving it a test flight, and I'm also gonna be giving some lessons to somebody who's never flown a radio-controlled helicopter before. So, until then, see you tomorrow. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, yesterday, we went through the construction and the setup of this radio control helicopter and today we're going to go through uh, how to fly it and in order to demonstrate that I'm actually going to give a lesson to somebody who's never flown a radio control helicopter before so I've got a friend of mine coming along hello Dr Jones are you ready for your lesson this morning oh yes I am yes I am indeed you know I've never flown one of these things before no, they are very difficult and they're quite complicated. And what I'll do first, I'm going to take you through the flight controls and then we'll have a go with it outside. Oh, I can't wait. It looks very exciting. So these are the bits here that control the helicopter. And that bit there is called the wash plate. And the bit next to it are known as the cycles and when you change those, it makes the helicopter move. Oh, yes, yes, I, I think I've got it now. I think I've got it. Uh, can, we other, can we have a go with it? All right, well, I'll show you how to use the transmitter. Okay, let's have a look. So this is the transmitter, and this is what allows you to control the helicopter when it's in the air and what you need to do is move these knobs around like this and that will make the helicopter fly okay have you got that yes it all seems very straightforward i think we should go and have a go with it right here we go let's see how this helicopter flies here we go Oh, oh, it's up. Oh. There we go. Are you watching Dr. Jones? Oh, yes. There we are. It's very tricky. Uh, you can see it's actually very hard to control it, but I think we've got it. Looks to be nicely set up. That's beautiful. Right, okay. There we go. That's flying perfectly. So I think it's time for you to have a go. Right, are you ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready to go. All right then, give it some welly. Okay, here goes. Hey, you're not doing bad, that's pretty good. Oh, it seems quite easy. Hey, hey, what, hey, whoa, whoa, watch out, what are you doing? Bloody hell, hey, look at it go, look at it go. Bloody hell, look at it go. Steady on, steady on. Oh, look out, what, what are you doing, what are you doing? No, I've got it, it's under control. Whoa, all right, hang on, you're upside down. Look out, you're upside down. Yes, I can see that. Bloody hell, how are you managing to do that? Oh, no problem, really easy. Oh, it's flying back down now. Okay, here it is. Coming into land. Bloody hell, that was an amazing landing. Well, I think you did pretty well there for your first lesson, Dr. Jones.
Oh, yes, it was really easy. I think this is dead easy flying these helicopters. Well, there you go, Paul. Happy birthday, and feel free to share that with Tony and Ian. I know they'd like to pick up a few tips about setting up and flying radio control helicopters, and I hope you found this video useful. So I'll say goodbye. Dot and hello to Tony and Ian.